Hey guys, Tough here. Uh, we're just trucking along. Um, coming off of the last tutorial video, which was creating uh, this this wire. We're going to be tending everything, and if there's enough time, we'll do some soldering as well. Um, what we've got is the wire, obviously. I've got the stick cup in case we get to um, actual soldering to the stick. On the other side of this helping hands, I've got the stick already kind of gripped. We've got a teensy here. This is an LC. Um, and off camera, I've got my super sad Radio Shack solder. I say super sad because my Radio Shack is long closed, and when this solder is gone, I'm going to be really sad. It's like a, it's like a novelty at this point. And then uh, my tip cleaner. A sponge would also work. I just like these. And then um, that way, off camera, is my soldering station, my iron. Um, the stick spec sheet says maximum soldering temperature of 350 C. The teensy, I believe, is 300 C. So I like to operate at this stage at 280. I find that to be hot enough to get the job done, but um, not so hot. And I feel I feel pretty safe um, that I'm not going to ruin anything. So just be mindful of your temperatures. If you do, do not have a variable temperature soldering station, which you need one, um, just be really careful with how long you hold the iron on it. Um, anyways, so let's just get going so we don't waste any time. I'm going to start, uh, we're going to start by tinning the wires here and we're going to see how the camera does with this. So just clean the tip. It's been sitting there hot and just going to go around as quick as I can before I need to clean it again. We're just tinning the wires here. That's it, don't take a lot. This is important because, um, for one, it makes it easier when you go to join these to the stick legs and to the teensy pins, but it just, it makes for a molecularly stronger solder joint. And when you go to, especially when you go to solder to the to the stick legs, I need to I need to cast the solder off. It's getting too much, but I'll just do it in a second. Boom, that's it. That's all it takes. I said tinning is worth the extra work. You saw that does not take that long to do, and it's totally worth it. The other side, just kind of spread them out a little bit. Anyways, so you do not want to be in the boat where you are trying to do some sleight of hand and hold hold the wire against the stick leg and hold the soldering iron and hold the solder and hold it all still and drop solder on there. You just want both the, the stick leg to be tinned, the wire to be tinned, and you just kind of hold the wire against it either with your hand or with a tool like these helping hands. And then I should move the TNT out of the way. I don't want to get solder on it. That would be bad. Um, and then you um, just put heat on it. And the solder that's the, the solder that is the tin for the stick leg and then for the wire will kind of join. And you let it cool and it works great. When my arm goes in a way like that, I am casting off the solder into the cleaner or just cleaning the tip. My hands are so shaky. All right, wires are done. Clean the tip. Got a holder and we're gonna flip this around. There's your stick. This is really similar. I know that I've got the temperature low, 280, and this said maximum of 350, but still, just be mindful of how long you've got it on the, on the, on the legs. Just be mindful. You do not want it You don't want to hold it there. These, um, I find these potentiometers to be very, very sensitive. And try not to breathe in the, um, the solder smoke. <laughs> it 
is leaded after all. Oh, by the way, if you're not using leaded solder, I'm sorry. You should be. That's not going to work. I just need to do this. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I know that lead is poisonous and it's a heavy metal and it's bad for the environment, but oh my gosh, it is so much easier. And all you're doing here for you guys who haven't soldered before, this is really easy. You're just getting you're just getting the 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 base material hot. You get the leg hot. Whatever you're soldering to, you you, you get the, the the material that you want to put solder on hot. And then once it's warm or once it's hot, then you um, put solder on it or you put it on the tip and it will flow. If the solder doesn't flow like easily, then it's not hot enough. And you need to increase the temperature of your tip just a little bit or you need to hold it on there a little bit longer. It's just you just need to kind of feel that out. This is a little tricky because where that leg is. I'm going to get my head down there. Um, but you shouldn't ever be... Yeah, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to hold it with and kind of bend the solder. Yeah, that's good. You should never be forcing it. Your solder should be, once it's on, it should be shiny. I'm not sure how it's coming through on the, on the camera, but all of my spots here are, are, all these pads are shiny. I'll hold it up now that it's done. They're all shiny. They shouldn't be dull gray. If it's dull gray, you, you, you weren't hot enough or you moved the solder before it flowed properly. Um, it's not that hard to do. It's just heat and metal. That's it. Anyways, so let's move on. And we're at seven minutes. The last video was 20, so there's probably enough time here. Did I? No, that's fine. Those alligator teeth leave. I should be using paper or cardboard on it anyways. It looks fine. So what we want to do, the stick is seated in the cup. So we need the wires to come up from the bottom so we can solder to this. So um, let's see if I can, I always get this wrong at first and I have to redo it, but let's see if I can get it right. So I want three and three for the potentiometers and then two for the buttons. So three, red, blue, black, red, blue, black, black, gold. Okay, so up in the bottom we want red, blue, black, and I'm sorry if you hear my cat, he's super anxious and when people leave the house, the rest of my family is out running errands, he gets like really mouthy. And if he comes through, I'm sorry. So red, blue, black. Oops, you go in your own hole. You can't share a hole. And then on the for the button, we need black and gold, black and gold, baby. Okay. Here we go. And you just kind of feed them up. Just pulling from the top, trying to pull evenly. I don't have any stragglers. I'm trying to avoid. Oh, there we go. That's good. See, so I could have even given myself more slack. That's 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 enough to get the job done, but you could have given yourself more. Anyways, so you can see on the bottom it's all coming through. All through right there. Yup. Okay. I like to, um, I think, do I want to hold the stick or do I want to hold the, I think I want to hold the stick, I think. But I really, we are going to get a small piece of paper here. Because I do not want the alligator 
clip with the, um, the helping hands to harm. To harm the ribbon cable. So anyways, let's straighten this out a little bit. So on this side, we've got red, blue, black. And uh, I'm just trying to separate everything out so we don't lose track of where we are. Kind of fold everything down that you don't need. And once you get one or two wires on, this gets a lot easier. So we'll start on this side with the red one. It's gonna go in button on that side, potentiometer on the bottom, potentiometer on the top. Okay, so I can just kind of turn it like this. And uh, because it's all tinned, I should trim that, it's too long. You want just enough material to solder to without it being too much because if there's too much material, then you can short things if you're not careful better. And I need to tin that one a little bit more because there's not a whole lot of solder on that side. So. Okay, anyway, so let's get back to this. So button on that side. This is the red right here. So we just, my hands are so shaky. That's it, because there's already solder on the leg, already solder on the wire. You don't need to add more solder to this. That's that's all you need. So I'll put the iron back after I cleaned it. Now I want the blue. It's also too long. get this better into the camera. That's a little bit better. This is blue on the middle leg. I may have to redo this off camera because my hands are so shaky. I'm used to having my elbows on. Let me see if I can get, get my elbow on the table. That's on there. Now the black wire. I'm gonna have to cut all of these. Yeah, so what happens is when you tin the wires, the, the shielding kind of melts and retracts a little bit. All right, cool, it's ready. Some of these start to get tricky when there are um, there's tension on the wire. I'm gonna have to do redo that off camera, I think. And yeah, my hand was just in the way. Sorry, guys. Anyways, it's hard for me to see and do that at the same time. There's all three there. Um, I'm sure that I'm not doing this right. I'm sure there's better technique for, for doing this. This is just how I kind of figured it out. I've not been trained in this, so um, if anybody watches who has been trained or does this professionally, please inform me as to the correct procedure. I probably could and should be using both sides of the helping hands to kind of hold this in place. I've tried that before, and um, I, th I think that I need a bigger set of helping hands to make that work properly, but what ifs. So now we need the, um, I bet if I was holding the stick instead of the uh, the wires, it may, may make a difference. Let's just try that. Nope. 
and that already feels a little bit better. Let's just trim these since I'm right here. One. Okay, so red, blue, black. So one, two, three on these pins. Okay, I need to do that leg better because it's not holding. Why not? It was holding just fine previously. That feels okay. Kind of. Oh, I see. The other the other um, wires are pulling on it, which is going to make this tricky. Why? Is, did I cut that way too short? I think I did. Well, let's see if it goes. I'm gonna have to redo that. I need to strip that again and tin that again a little bit, I think. I'll, let me just get the ones on and I can do that separately. Blue, that flowed easily. Yeah, this is easier. Do it like this, don't do it like I did. First, make the helping hands hold the stick and move the wires, this is way easier. Note to self, do it like this every time. Come on. I can't hold my hand still long enough to keep it on the leg. There we go, that flowed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo that red one. Really, oops, bumped the camera. Come on, there we go, got you. Got you, Felder. All right, let's tin that again and put it back on that leg. It's tinned, trim it, because it melted the, the shielding back, the insulation of the wire. Don't trim too much this time, bud, there we go. Okay. Get this feller back on there. I have to pull it a little hard because I made it shorter than the other ones. That's fun. Don't burn my thumb. Even with helping hands, often. This is, uh, you're, you're, you're becoming a uh, illusionist, a magician, to make all of this kind of come together because of how, um, how squirrely these wires are. Um, if you get different links on them, even slightly, they can act funny because they're all joined together. It's, it's special. It's special. All right, um, this black wire in here and this button is going to be tricky because of how weird it is. I need to get at it from the other side. My arm might block the camera. So not only am I doing the normal sleight of hand with this, but I'm doing extra so that the camera is not blocked. Let me just pull that a little bit. There we go. That might be better. I'm gonna try really hard not to burn myself. It's happened before, but it's fine. You can see how shaky my hand is. I thought it flowed. There it goes. That's not a great one, but it'll do for now. So I'm gonna definitely come back off camera and kind of make sure that all these are solid. 
um, when I can kind of get my elbows on the desk and get my head right up so I can see what I'm doing. Doing this through the camera and, uh, you know, standing without supporting my arms is not what I'm used to doing. So what you're seeing is for the sake of demonstration so you know what you should do. But really, when you do it, get your head down in there. Wear some glasses. Have sharp vision. Be up close. Make sure your hands are steady. Make sure the joints are solid. But that's all in. And if I did it right, you should just kind of be able to work this down. Um, do it gingerly because these wires are thin. And they can break. So just be mindful of that. Also, if your solder is too gloppy, your um, joints will be too big for the holes in the bottom of the cup. So also be mindful of that. Give this a decent yank here. So I'm gonna have to go back and redo some of those joints so that they are cleaner and not so gloppy. And then that will slide in. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And we're at 20 minutes, so this is good enough for now. The next video, we'll do soldering to the Teensy and we'll seat this in the cup. So we'll look at all that um, when I can clean this up. But that should give you an idea of how to tin the wires and how to get it on the stick. I hope you have helping hands. If not, you're gonna have to do what I did for a long time, which is have a messy desk with heavy, I've got a rock. <laughs> Um, the handles of the pliers and you kind of use them to hold wires down and hold things still for you um, Which can work in place of helping hands, but I got this from Harbor Freight for like five dollars or something So they're cheap, but I mean it's just got a weighted base and then it just holds things for you So that's really super handy even with tools like this You are still doing some sleight of hand to kind of hold everything and get everything right um, We're not doing PCB soldering. So um, it's just going to be a little bit messy, but anyways, I hope that gives you guys an idea of what to do for this step and uh, we'll be back in a future video on, uh, proceeding forward, probably, uh, seating the stick and soldering to the TNC. All right guys, later.